hey queens and welcome back to my channel i got some good news for you guys today they tried to break you yeah they tried it they tried it that toxic boyfriend that toxic husband that best friend that family member that co-worker yeah they tried it they tried to break you but you're getting ready to break through yeah okay go and get your crown put it on and let's talk about it y'all i forgot to put my microphone on so let me just let me just grab it real quick mic because you guys can hear so much better when my mic is on so so they they tried, it. they tried to devalue you they tried to break you down so that you will not know your worth they try to humiliate you they try to talk about you they didn't try they did you may have been cheating on cheated on you know been in a bad relationship you know just they tried it but it didn't work. You are still here and you're stronger than before. Did it hurt? Yes. Was it painful? Yes. Do we wish it didn't happen? Yes, but it did. But that's all right. You're still here. You're on the other side. And you see, whatever you learn from, you can grow from. Okay, you don't have to stay stuck in that same mindset, that same environment, that same attracting that same negative toxic energy. Okay, because when we when we vibrate on a low level through not loving ourselves, through tolerating toxic behavior, not having boundaries, not having standard, we're attracting that same thing. So it's not that we're toxic. It's just that that low energy of not being confident, that not believing that we just like the best, you know. We attract those same people who are operating on a low energy of, you know, negativity, of not believing the best about themselves. So they're being trash to other people because they believe that they're trash too. You know, that's that's what the difference is. Now you can have this popsicle boot. There you go. No, not right now. And hold on, mommy's on a video, okay, honey? Hold on. I love you. We're, we're about to go, okay? Uh, so it's not that you're toxic, but you're both operating on low energy. And with their energy, they use it to turn and to hurt other people. And you just kind of use it to hurt yourself through, you know, accepting people treating you like crap. Um, but yeah, but they try to break you. But you're getting ready to break through. What does that mean? And I'm going to look at this definition. I got my computer. The definition of breakthrough says a sudden, dramatic, an important discovery or development and also an instant of achieving success in a particular sphere or activity. You say, how? How am I getting ready, ready to break through? I don't feel like it. I don't feel like I'm, about, I'm not doing nothing. You've already done something. You're here. You made it through. You're overcoming. Even if you're in that relationship now. You're here. You didn't let it break you down. You didn't say that said, okay, he don't love me. Let me just go, just go, go drink a beer. Let me just go do this. Let me go do that. Let me go do these drugs. Let me go just treat myself like crap because people treat me like crap. So you have to see how you're, you're overcoming in your everyday life. You have to see the area that you're growing in when you don't feel like it. You got up today. You put on a smile today. You decided to treat people good, even though you're going through bad stuff. You have to see where you are. And see how far you have come and how you keep on getting back up, how you keep on forgiving, how you keep on, you know, triumphing and accomplishing your goals and going to work, paying your bills, taking care of your kids, trying to do the right thing. You're getting ready to break through because whatever you sow, that's what I heard. Whatever you sow, that's what I heard. You go reap. Okay, they sold all the negative energy. So they're going to reap all that. And we ain't going to feel sorry for them. Why? Because they're grown up. They made their choices. And we all know, you know, on some level that we get back what we put out. So we ain't going to feel sorry for them. We ain't going to go try to help them and save them. Because you're getting in God's way. Get out of God's way. Okay, so you can receive your blessing. Don't be hindered by trying to help somebody who is hindering you. Yeah? Okay. My greatest have come since I left my toxic marriage. Since I said, okay, it's hard. Yeah, I'm gonna be a single mama. Yeah, it might be hard. Yeah, I might not get as much sleep. But you know what? My peace is more important than their presence because their presence 
ain't really doing nothing because I'm so I was doing everything no not right now honey go outside and wait a second you know I was so afraid for years to leave I don't want to be a single mom I don't want to do it by myself I was doing it by myself I was doing it by myself no he didn't have a job I was a stay-at-home mom we were living off you know whatever he got you know whatever so that's my personal business but like I was doing the work yeah he might have took a good went to grocery store changed the diaper but I was doing the hard work I was standing with helping the kids the homework I was cooking the, the most food you know what I mean I was making sure the kids were mentally and physically you know healthy in a good place all while I was deteriorating because the man that was supposed to love me to death to depart was causing death inside of me spiritually mentally emotionally and physically because my mental health was suffering you know what I mean no more popsicles, honey. Go outside. So, you and I made it through. And I broke through. Yeah, it hurt. Yeah, I was like, oh, was it better then? No, it wasn't. Sometimes you got to remind yourself. You'd be like, was it better when I was? No. Your mind is trying to make you think that because you're uncomfortable. And just because you're having a moment doesn't mean it's forever. The hard part, you know, of raising kids, of having to explain where daddy is, why he's not there, you know, or whatever. That's a moment. Don't let a moment take you back to the past that you don't want to be in, okay? But I just came to tell somebody that. They try to break through. And you're getting ready to break through. Your breakthrough is in your mouth. I can do this. I'm going to overcome. My next relationship is going to be my best relationship. My next opportunity is going to be the opportunity I've been looking for. You start speaking over yourself. You love yourself, okay? That's how I wrote this affirmation book. I am surrounded by love. I don't need others to like me to be happy. I don't lower my standards to make I don't lower my standards to make other people comfortable. I don't change who I am for people to accept me. Y'all, daily affirmation journal for women. If you need help get into that breakthrough, I believe in myself and just journaling it out. Is it hard for me to believe in me? in myself why what happens when I don't believe in myself you, you lower your standards you don't have no standards what do I need to work on identify my feelings how many times are we suppressing our feelings just because we just it's just too much we overwhelmed disappointed joyful happy regretful it's okay to feel these feelings okay but let's work through them so that we're not eating our feelings drinking our feelings smoking our feelings cursing our feelings you know all the negative things that could happen that we're learning to deal with our feelings in a healthy way and I'm with you queen I'm learning you know I'm an emotional eater my whole life and I'm learning how to deal with those in a health deal with those emotions in a healthy way because I never learned how to deal with my emotions in a healthy way so I either suppress them and it manifests in me emotional eating weight gain you know feeling bad about myself and just a cycle but it's time to break that cycle right break it you said it's time to break it you gotta speak it come on Th speak those things that be not as though they were that's what I heard okay but queens, I love you. I celebrate me. I celebrate me. Do you celebrate you? Why? Why not? Are you waiting for others to celebrate you? Mm, why is this? Why? You think you have to be worthy in someone else's eyes to be celebrated? Nope. Trying to break through. I won't treat others better than I treat myself. Hey, I won't treat others better. Then I treat myself. Come on now. How many people have treated others better than they treated themselves? That old toxic, toxic person. You treat them like they are king. You make his food. You wash his clothes. A little dirty underwear. A little stanky little socks. Nasty. is a nasty attitude. Just nasty. But you treat him like a king. But you don't do it for yourself. Mm -mm. No more. No more. No more queen. I'm sorry if I'm not looking because I'm like looking at myself, but I know the camera's like right there. So like it's such a tiny little camera, but yeah, yeah, y'all get it. I welcome love into my life. How do you welcome love into your life? By loving yourself, by embracing yourself. Yeah, this seems mushy and gushy, oh, but that, that's what we need when you've never had that. I love me. 
I accept me. I am worthy. I embrace me in all that I am. I embrace me in all of my mistakes. I embrace me in all of my flaws. They try to break you, but you're about to break through and bounce back better than you've ever been before. And I'm so proud of you. And when you do it, you got to tell me, you got to DM me, you got to email me, you got to let me know. And you got to join my group because I'm coming out with a group. Um, I'm still working on the details, but I'm thinking about something about like healing or self-love through through writing our stories or through writing, you know, it could be poetry, it could be writing about your past and just healing from that through letting it out. Because how much, how many times do we just hold stuff in and we think that just by not talking about it, and trying to forget it and act like it didn't exist that it's going to go away. No, it don't just go away. It doesn't. It manifests itself in our relationships, in our bodies, in our health, in our minds. We have to deal with it. So, so that y'all queens, let me know if y'all want to join that group because I've been talking about it for a minute. For y'all who've been here for a second, I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to let stop letting fear stop me and that uh, imposter syndrome and stuff like that. And we're going to do this thing. We're going to support each other. We're going to love each other because that's what we do in this community, this queen community. We lift each other, okay? We help, we lend each other a helping hand, right? And we pull each other up. That's what we do. And if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, girl, what you doing? We don't do that here. We love each other. We support each other. And the way you can support me if I'm helping you is to like this video, to subscribe, hit that notification bell because I post um, quite often. Um, and yeah, to get this knowledge and this wisdom and this love so you can love yourself and have a better life. And when you love you, you love others better. You love your children better. You love your family better. And you are better because you're loving and you're believing yourself. Okay? Love yourself again. I'm going to attempt this song. My allergies may not let me, but love yourself again. Love yourself again. Again, love yourself again, girl. Why you tripping? Love yourself again. I know you played the fool, girl. I played it too. Love yourself again. Till next time, queens. I love you. If you need help. Get that daily affirmation journal or the rest of the series. If you haven't, the workbook, it'll really just help you work through everything that the Love Yourself uh, first book talked about. Go back to that childhood, working on the issues, the wounds, getting to the root of where, you know, your settling came from. It just really this is an in-depth book. This is really like a standalone book. You could really just get this by yourself and you'd be fine. And yeah, but if you've gotten any of these books, you can show me some love by giving me a five-star review on Amazon, leaving a good comment. It helps me to reach more women. Um, yeah, reach more women, help more people, freeze up my time. I give more time to you. And I love y'all queens. I love y'all. All my day ones, y'all my day ones. Because I'm not at a thousand yet. I'm almost at a thousand. So if y'all had a dream, ever had a dream and a hope, help me reach my dream and my hope with getting my thousand subscribers. I'm almost there and I'm going to be there, I declare, by the end of this month. And it's the 17th, my daughter's birthday. And we're about to go out in the fun and the sun, ride some bikes and just have fun today. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.